Home Championship last year and turned professional, of course, in January and has done so well to reach this final. You've seen both men in practice, the audience really puffing, and yes, here come the two finalists, Eric Bristow and Bob Anderson, getting a great reception, and at this point I can hand you over to our MC, Tony Green. I'm gracing the stage for the 1985 MFI World Match Play. World rank number one, please welcome the crafty cockney, Eric Bristow. <laughs> World rank number five, his opponent from England, Bobby Anderson. Your referee, Freddie Williams. And Eric Bristow there, looking against phlegmatic as usual before the final. Bob Anderson, famous for these quite awful shirts, having the first practice starts. And uh, I have seen Anderson rather take Bristow apart. It's nowhere near as one-sided as a lot of people may imagine. Here is the crafty Cockney who has told us he's already got his hands around the trophy of this MFI World Match Play. Anderson, though, in Birmingham at the Butlins Grand Masters, beat him 5-1. So Bristow's reputation clearly doesn't worry Anderson from Swindon. He's got a lot of support from his local pub up the M4 today. First leg, Bob to throw first. Hey. Referee caller Freddie Williams, the man who called the nine dart finish last year. We wonder if that is any kind of omen as Anderson has first strike. 45. If he runs true to character, Eric Bristow will go straight for his throat. Best of nine sets. To date in this MFI tournament, we've had 831 scores of 100 plus, including 25 maximums. 140. <laughs> there is the 832nd ton. And Bristow here has the highest average for all darts he's thrown, 31.63 or 94.89. 100. Anderson comparatively has averaged 29.85 or 89.55 per visit to the board. 60. Bristo, I can only recall losing one major television final. 100. But the likeable, engaging Bob Anderson here certainly will start the underdog. 140! And there was Bob Anderson's famous shotgun finger. Characteristically, Bristow taking time to settle, and Anderson in with a chance of an early kill here, 116. 60. Takes Anderson down to a two-dart check next time, and Bristow back on 198. 100. Bob requires 56. And now we look to Anderson's famed finishing power. Double top. 36. Well, just certainly didn't work for him there. And offers Eric Bristow a chance. 
looked like a treble, which left him two yeah. nines, and there is the game shot for the first leg. Second leg, Eric Tosrofus, game on. So Bristow taking his opportunity. He really lets an opponent make a mistake. 100. Anderson learning about life at the top. Missed his double, made to pay. 100. A reminder that they're playing for £15,000. The runner-up gets £6,000, so there's a considerable difference between winning and losing today. One hundred. Of course, there's 100000 for the minimum nine dart checkout. We haven't seen one of those yet. And £1,000 for the highest single. Three dark checkout standing at one six one at the line. Ninety nine. Bristow commanding missed the second leg. Ninety one. One hundred. Requires eighty two. And Bristow normally goes ball two sixteen for eighty two. That leaves him now double top. 47. Unusually long way off target. Well, requires 141. well, Anderson's finishing ability really brought to bear here if he could manage a 141, which he is not going to do. 100. <laughs> Eric requires 35. No two sixteens. Yeah! Oh, doesn't miss those very often. <laughs> Third leg, Bob to throw first. Game on. Bob Anderson trailing two love in the first set. Bristow checking out at 18 and 17 darts, respectively. 60. <laughs> 100. Bob the Bandit, far admired and famed for his shirts. In fact, it seemed to see on the back is nicknamed the Limestone Cowboy. 60. There are also a few wags who have dubbed him Clint Plywood. 100. find his touch. The pull from centre erupts. Bristow will not bow. He still leads despite that maximum 180. Anderson still 40 adrift. Changing direction. 99. Gets a single 19 bottom of the board. Eric requires 161. 
Woody for the highest checkout we've seen from Michael Gregory, if he could manage it, which on this occasion, he can't. 60. Bob requires 102. For the third leg, first set, 102. Ball will lead him to 16s. He has hit a 7. 78. Eric requires 101. For the set. And now two 16s. Oh, he is in deadly form. An imperial start and a finish there by Eric Bristow. And he sustained that telling pressure to take the second and third sets. Anderson managed to win only one leg, so depressingly he was 3 nothing down. Let's rejoin the final in the fourth with Anderson now two legs up, but Bristow to throw. Third leg, Eric to throw first. Game on. Well, will Eric Bristow show his teeth? 100. That's two trebles. One hundred and forty. Bristow still has the advantage of the throw in this leg. He must win this one to keep the fourth set alive as we approach the midway stage. 97. Eric requires 104. 104 then for the Crafty Company. Treble will leave him to 12s. Treble 20. 56. Bob requires 141. Again, it's quite an order for Anderson when he really is on his game. 141 is within his grasp. It is now too. But he needed the treble 19 second dart to leave two 12s. He'll come across surely for three 10s now. 94. <laughs> Eric requires 48. And has been absolutely lethal with his finishing. Now double top. Double 15. Two fives with that dart. And that's 33. just about the first time we can recall Bristow missing a double in this MFI final. Bob requires 47. And a golden opportunity to get back in and win this set. 15 will leave two 16s. Critical darts for Anderson. This is the most important third dart. 15 score. And it's the wrong side of the wire. Eric requires 15. And the difference really has been Bristow's finishing power. Now eight left, two fours, and now two twos. Yeah. And there's the case in point. Yeah. Eric Christo. Full flag. Bob to throw first. Game on, please. Anderson still has the darts here in this leg. He needs two one, but he desperately needs this set and desperately needs to win this leg. 100. 
coming down for 319s. 177. And he's going for the nine darter. He said he was going to do this. He'll go 177. His next target will be 180, which will leave 144. Bristow is deliberately going for the 100,000 pounds here. He promised us this is the way he was going to go. Now he's got to get to the maximum 180 here. That's just too low. 140. An intoxicating prospect on for a moment there. The nine dart finished just out of his reach, but it could still level up this set. One hundred. Fifty-five. Eric requires eighty-four. Two twelves. Sixty. Well, his finishing ability may just have slightly gone off the boil, but not uh, really too much so to interfere with his progress. Eighty-one. Eric requires 24. You've got to admire this character. He was two down and now looks to level it up and have the darts yes! and the decider. Fifth leg, Eric to throw first. Game on, please. Whenever there has been the slightest suspicion that Anderson is getting back into it. Bristow has clicked into overdrive. Ninety-nine. Critical to Anderson's calls to get a throttle hold on this leg. Sixty. And that really isn't good enough, Bob. And uh, I'm sure the man from Wiltshire is aware of it. Bristow in front, and uh, with all these darts in profit. Still unable to finish on 162. 140. It's going to be a desperately close finish again, 162. Eric Bristow. Now he may come in for the ball here. Could have left 32. Bob requires 161. And if ever a man needed a finish, it is Anderson here on 161. And it's deserted him again. 100. Eric requires 57. Well, 17 double top normally, but he might just go for 25 to leave. 16. Now he wants double top for the set. And now two tens. 37. Hope then for Anderson on 61, 61 to keep this final very much alive. Bob Anderson will surely never throw more important darts than these. That looks like three twos. And that could be double top left now. Yeah. And he's found it. It was 3-2 the first start, then the 15, double top. An 
Anderson is back in at the midway stage. Yes, Anderson was coming into his own, but could he continue that fight back? We'll see after this. The MFI World Match Play Final, which we left with Eric Bristow leading Bob Anderson three sets to one, but Anderson fighting back. We pick up the play in the fifth set now, two legs all, Anderson is at the hockey, and commentary is again by Dave Lanning. Once again, a crucial leg for Bob Anderson. If he can win this one, it will be 3-2, and this final really will be on the boil. 100. Bristow shaking himself down. Here comes the power play. He's going to go for 319s. 177! That was the 100th ton of this match, and the nine darter now in prospect. Bristow promised 100. he would go this way. He's got to get to the three treble twenties now though oh it's the wrong side of the wire and that's the wrong side of the wire 36. and the crowd know that Bristow's game <laughs> well he's a cocky player but he certainly puts his darts where his bow star And with all the drama, Anderson is still 87 in front. Still magnificent play. How can Anderson reply to this? Anderson has not missed a ton. He's got to come out for an odd one. 141. Well, that's quite useful. Didn't really want those three sevens, but it places him handily. Bristow wanting 148, not on. Oh, real breathtaking leg 60. of dark this one. It could be 3 2. Will Bob Anderson's nerve hold here on 62 darts at double top? Number one was in command, three up. He's now at 3 2. Look at his reply 160. Out of this world. Anderson back, trailing by just now one set. And just look at these darts. Unbelievable. They both have hit the maximum 180. They both have a prospect of a nine darter, and Bristow's has gone right out the window. What a minute Well, what can we add? Can Bob Anderson hit those trebles again? Sixty. Well, we descend slightly from the clouds, but uh, <laughs> really was quite a start to this leg. 60. Same check out, Bristow coming for 121. 70 left. Ball to finish. 74 score. Bob requires 121. Can Bob Anderson manage that 1 2 1 check to complete? Ready. Leg of darts, which has been a classic. Well, he wanted the 318s to leave the ball there. 
47. Eric requires 47. Fifteen will leave. Oh, he missed it. Ten. Now he wants two sixteens. Thirty-one score. That was a slip from Bristow. Wasted a dart, missed the double. Anderson in. Seventy-four. Sixty left. Double top for Bob Anderson. Yes! Yes, yes. Bob Anderson. Second leg, Bob to throw first, game on please. And the atmosphere is electric, the noise deafening as Bob Anderson takes that leg against the darts. 140! Bristow was roller coasting. Could he possibly be paying the price for just looking to play to the gallery? 43. of the crowd here at the Fulcrum definitely with Bob Anderson I just love a guy fighting back like this 140 60 Anderson still just ahead as we get down towards checkout in this the second leg of the sixth set. One hundred. One hundred and thirty-four. Bob requires one hundred and more. And again, Anderson looking to his finishing ability on 101. Hits the ball, it leaves him two 16s. Oh, with the wrong side four. of the wire. Agony for Anderson. 84. Two 12s for Eric Bristow. And now two sixes. 78 score. Bob requires 16. Well, there is no question. Just that cutting edge has gone from Bristow's finishing, and that's given Anderson fresh hope. Two eights. Yes! Bob Anderson. Third leg, Eric going first. Game on, please. It's getting to be a fabulous final. Anderson two up to draw level in sets. 100. If Bob Anderson can win this leg and this set, it's back at three apiece. Best of nine. And this is a crackling start. 140! Whatever the outcome, you have to admire this character from Wiltshire. Well behind, absolutely refused to lie down. 60. And he's right back in this final. One 
the Thunder. After that uh, turn 40 opening, 260s from Anderson. That's led Eric Bristow back into a situation to take advantage of this leg. 60. She hasn't really done. It's 80 score, he'll come out. 99. What requires 101? To win the third set and square it all up here in this fantastic 1985 World Match play. 82 left. That's 25. 61 score. Eric requires 82. And Eric Bristow really needs this shot. 82. Wants double top and the pressure's on him. And he's in the wrong double. Score. Quite a moment for Bob Anderson. And it could be quite a comeback. Double top. To make it three apiece. And Anderson really warming to his task, and now even Stevens. The impetus he had generated was maintained, too, because he took the lead for the first time in the match by winning the seventh set, 4-3 to him. But then Bristow's experience told when it was most needed to level it for all. So it all rested on the decisive ninth set. You couldn't contrive a better finish. First leg, final set. Bob to throw first. Game on, please. Anderson coming in then for the deciding set in this marvellous, marvellous MFI World Match Play Final. He has the darts and he's making them play. <laughs> Eric Bristow, who saw a three-love set advantage fritter away, won that last set with three checkouts of 14 darts. 100! Never see a better match than this one. 83. Scoring advantage here, first leg of the deciding set. One hundred. A pinpoint piece of realignment to find the treble and record the ton. Retrieve the situation for Anderson, takes him down to within two darts of the first leg of this decisive set. 100! Bob requires 78! Anderson composing himself, allowing this educated crowd here to settle. They have been a super crowd. So he has bust! That's incredible. He wanted a single 20 to leave double top. 
Eric requires 141. An unexpected opportunity for Bristow here. It's not the 60. He wants two 12s. What a way to step in. What a way to capitalise for Eric Bristow. 60, 57, two 12s. And that surely is the sign of a marvellous champion, Eric Bristow, at his most ruthless. Again, coming out. 99. Anderson made just one slight stutter there. And Bristow was right on top of him there, and he takes that first leg against the darts. 41. And the MFI World Match play and the £15,000 might just have hinged on those two magical moments. 43. What a well, he really is a quite bionic battler. 100. Two travels. 140! Fully close again, 119 for Bristow for a 2 0 lead. And the round 100 left. Long treble. 43 score. 53 score. Bob requires 80. To get right back into this set, he lost the first one against the darts. He has the opportunity to return the compliment. And the bust this time, but this double top is critical. Yes! Okay. Well Good to go first. Game on, please. snatched the first leg of this set against the darts and against the odds. Anderson has made it one apiece and has the darts in this third leg. 60! If Eric Bristow can win this leg, he knows he has the darts in the next. He will surely go straight in. Deserted Anderson. A very important moment. Certainly hasn't deserted Eric Bristow. 140! So the pace really is telling off Anderson. I think it's telling on all of us. 60! 
60. This leg here from Bob Anderson. 60, 60, 60, 45. And has given Eric Bristow the inspiration and incentive, surely. 55 score. He won't let this one slip. There's the score in our caption. Anderson with a real mountain to climb here. And he had the darts. One hundred. Eric requires one hundred and six. Now two sixteens. Yes! Bristol! Paul Clayton meets Henry Crane first. Game on, please. Well, the climax of a marvellous match with Eric Bristow with the darts. One hundred and forty! Bob Anderson, who has pulled off one of the great comebacks in the history of darts. 60! Loses advantage on the score with the first darts, and Bristow bowling on here. 60! Bob Anderson, 140 behind. One hundred. There's a difference in the score, and Christo still critically has the throw. One hundred. will battle right to the end. Well, it would be in character with this match if you checked on this. Fifty-nine score. And a really big score from Anderson. It would make a terrific difference here. Climax, 102 for Bristow. He'll go for the ball to leave 216. 62 and gets score. to 25. That leaves him double top. He will never have a more important finish to produce than this 101 to save the match. And he's missed the ball to leave 216s and it's looking towards Eric Bristow score. now. This man has nerves of steel looking at double top for the title. Yes! And everyone here at the Fulcrum, and I'm sure everybody watching us and millions of dark players will know that wherever you go in the world of darts, for how long this super old game, you will not ever, ever see a better match than that. What a brilliant final. Bristow just found the edge when it was necessary, but the bravest loser surely in the world of sport this year is Bob Anderson. What a comeback. There is the trophy they are playing for. Bristow said he had his hands around it. There's the trophy. And there is the cheque for £15,000 and the name of Eric Bristow going on it. But he has earned every penny 
Three piece. Ladies and gentlemen, certainly a star has been born here today, although in second place, receiving a cheque for £6,000, Bob Anderson. And Derek Hunt, the managing director and chairman of MFI, makes a presentation to the most worthy loser, surely, that darts has ever seen. But certainly... Proving that he is the governor receiving a cheque for £15,000. A beautiful trophy for 1985 MFI World Match Play Champion, Harry Cristo. What are your feelings about Bob? Because his first major final and he's put up a magnificent performance, hasn't he? What about him? Well, fine, Bob. We were friends before it started and we're still friends now. But um, I think he came back brilliant and then he missed the 78 shot out. He went 18 treble 20, which we, he will definitely regret. And I went out 1 4 1. The next leg he broke back to make it 1 all, but. Um, I think in the end, everybody here would agree, superb final, eh? Super. This man has got a long way to go. He's going to go to number two, this man. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another triumph, though, for the unstoppable Eric Bristow. And now he's off to Brisbane to help England win the World Cup again. We'll reflect that in a special programme next Saturday evening at 10 o'clock. Now, goodbye.